This is Bumper to Bumper TV. This is the long-awaited Ford solution to getting better fuel economy, staying green, and a way the company hopes to keep selling SUVs and crossovers in good conscience. The EcoBoost version of the Ford 2.0-liter Duratec engine is promoted as a four-cylinder power plant with V6 performance. Initially, it will be offered in the Explorer and the Edge crossover front-wheel drive versions. Eventually, expect to see it in the Focus and other models as a way to get ahead of tougher federal fuel efficiency requirements. So, how does it work? Try and follow along as the lead engineer breaks it down in layman's terms. Fast-acting turbochargers, mm -hmm. direct injection with twin independent VCT, right? And at that point, we've made numerous upgrades from a durability standpoint. We improve the friction of the motor, um, as well as we incorporate the exhaust manifold into the cylinder head, which was, was key for us to improve the pulse energy actually to the turbocharger. That gives you that quick spool up as well as the uh, low inertia in the wheel of the turbocharger. This package gives the Duratec an impressive set of statistics. With the turbo, it is rated at 240 horsepower and capable of 270 foot-pounds of torque. In the Explorer, that's supposed to improve fuel efficiency to 28 miles to the gallon and 30 miles to the gallon in the Edge crossover. To prove their point, Ford let us take it on the road near the corporate proving grounds in Rochester, Michigan for a few hours. So, is there a noticeable difference in performance? This thing has plenty of spunk. That's why right. it's got 240 horsepower. That's nothing to snivel at. And you know, the thing that really grabs me is how quiet this engine is. Ford thinks it will match up well against global competitors offering similar mileage claims. Now a visit to the proving grounds isn't complete unless there's the chance to show off a high performance engine. So a sneak peek at the new Boss 302 Mustang revealed a new technical approach to burning rubber from a standing stop. As you hold the set plus button on the speed control, the tachometer sweeps to 9000, let it go back, program in whatever RPM you want. Like let's say we want to launch at 3500 RPM, hit OK. Once programmed, the engine idles at the set level and you just drop it in gear to make your point. Ah, yes. This is Greg Morrison. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.